welcome to creta classes and also welcome to the seventh lecture under the permutation series yes this is the permutation series we are having a series of lecture on the various topic of the permutation the next three lecture will be based on the various questions on the permutation refer our youtube channel for the complete list of videos on the various topics of the permutation apart from this lecture series we are also having a course on permutation and combination refer the link in the description about this we will discuss at the end of the video so without taking any further time let's begin with this video so best of luck in this lecture we will cover the basic questions related to the permutation so let's start with the lecture our first question is in how many ways can the letter of the word problem be rearranged to make seven letter words such that none of the letters repeats okay this is the question firstly i will give you the time to solve the question pause the video and try to solve the question and after that i will tell you how to approach and solve the question okay so pause the video and try to solve the question on your own so let's see how to approach this question in this question we are given a word that is problem it is a seven letter word p r o b l e m okay and on observing we found that none of the letters of the word problem are repeating we are having the pure seven letters in the word problem and we have to form the various number of words that we can form from this seven letter word problem so how we will approach this question we are given seven items that is we are given seven letters and we have to fill the seven slots that is we have to form a seven letter word so we can say n equal to 7 and r is equal to 7 that is n is equal to r equal to 7 so we can apply the formula of the permutation npr which will be equal to n factorial okay we have seen in the previous lecture that is when n is equal to r then the permutation will be equal to n factorial okay so we got our answer as 7 factorial as n and r both are equal to 7 so we got our answer as 7 factorial no need to solve for the 7 factorial just we got the answer as 7 factorial that is in 7 factorial ways we can form the different words from the letters of the word problem that is a 7 letter word okay very simple question let's move to next question the question is three men have four coats five waist coats and six caps in how many ways can they wear them okay pause the video try to solve this question on your own let's approach this question in this question three men are given okay these are the three men and these three men are having four coats five waist coats and six cap we have to find the different ways in which they can wear them okay so how we will approach this question what is the fundamental here we will use the fundamental principle of counting that is we will use and or principle okay you have remember and means the multiplication and or means the addition the same fundamental we will use here firstly we will calculate the number of ways in which the three men can wear four coats then we will see the number of ways in which the three men can wear the five waist coat then finally we will see the number of ways in which these three men can wear the six cap individually we will calculate all these three values then we will multiply them why because the final equation that will be formed as per the logic given in the question will be the number of ways in which these men can wear all this item will be equal to the number of ways in which the three men can wear four coat and the number of ways in which the three men can wear five coats and the number of ways in which the three men can wear six cap here as per the logic given in the question the and will be applicable okay the ways in which four coats and the ways in which five waist coats and the way in which the six cap will be applicable and we know what is and it is multiplication 
okay this is the concept through which we will approach the question so let's individually calculate all these three values firstly we will see the number of ways in which the three men can wear the four coats here we are having four coats and we are having three men so we can say n equal to 4 that is number of item given is equal to 4 and the number of slot is 3 that is three men have to wear these four coats so we can apply the formula of the permutation which will be equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial so let's put the value we got the answer as 4 into 3 into 2 that is basically 24 okay we can also apply the fundamental principle of the counting that is we are having three slot in the first slot that is the first person is having the choice to wear the four coats the second person will be having the choice to wear the three coat because the first coat has already been chosen by the first person and the third person will be having the choice to wear the two coats so we got the answer as 4 into 3 into 2 that is 24 okay any of the way you can choose to solve the question but you should know all the ways and all the approaches to solve the question okay so for the first part that is for the four quotes we got the answer as 24 further so let's see in how many ways the three men can wear the five vest coat the number of item is five that is n equal to five the number of vacant slot is equal to three that is three men so again we will use the formula of the permutation that will be equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial let's put the value we got the answer as 60 okay you can also use the fundamental of the counting that will be 5 into 4 into 3 got it lastly let's see the number of ways in which the three men can wear six cap again the number of item is equal to six that is n equal to six and r equal to three let's put the value in the formula of the permutation we got the answer as 120 and we can also got the same answer by using the fundamental of the counting that will be 6 into 5 into 4 okay so we got all the values of the three terms in our equation so we can directly put this value in the equation we got the answer as 24 into 60 into 120 that is 172800 got it this is the answer that is this is the number of ways in which the three men can wear the four coats five vest coats and six caps okay let's move to the next question the question is 10 coins are tossed simultaneously in how many of the outcomes will the third coin turn up a head pause the video try to solve the question on your own let's approach the question in the question 10 coins are given and we have to toss these 10 coins simultaneously and we have to calculate in how many of the outcomes will the third coin turn up a head okay we have to toss all the 10 coins simultaneously and we have to calculate the number of ways in which the third coin will remain the head and all the other nine coins can be head or can be tail that does not matter but the third coin should be head okay this is the logic which is given in the question my advice to all of you while dealing with the question on permutation combination and probability just look for the logic and the wording given in the question do not jump with the formula okay the logic in the question is very important in the questions of the permutation combination and the probability so here we have identified the logic that is 10 coins are given and we have to toss all these 10 coins the third coin should be head and other nine coins can be head or the tail so let's see in how many ways we can do so we are having 10 slot these 10 slots are denoting the outcome of the 10 coins the first coin can have head or tail that is it can have two choices the second slot again can have head or tail that is two choices the third coin it should be head okay so the number of choices with the third coin is only one that is only head 
and the fourth coin can have head or tail that is two choices similarly the fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and the tenth coin can have head or tail that is two choices so the total number of ways will be equal to the outcome of the first coin and the outcome of the second coin and outcome of the third and outcome of the fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and tenth coin okay here and will be applicable as per the logic in the question and will be applicable and what is and and is multiplication so we got our answer as 2 into 2 into 1 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 up to the last coin so we got our answer as 2 power 9 okay that is the answer of the question very simple question just if you are able to identify the logic given in the question you can easily approach and solve this question got it so that's the answer of this question let's move to the next question the question is how many three digits even number are possible using the digits 0 3 1 6 7 9 if repetition of digits is allowed okay this is the question pause the video and try to solve this question on your own let's approach this question okay in this question we have to find the three digit even number we have to find the three digit number means we are having three slot these three slot are defining the three digits that we have to find and we have to find the three digit number with the help of the six digits which are given in the question which are 0 3 1 6 7 and 9 and we have to form the three digit number with the help of these six digits okay further in the question it is also given the repetition of the digit is allowed this is very important this will govern the course of the answer okay the repetition of digits are allowed it means that the same number can be repeated in all of the three slot no restriction is given on that this is very important further it is also given that is we have to find the even number even number the number which can be divisible by 2 it means that the last digit of this three digit number should be even and we are having the number 03169 only the number 0 and 6 can come in the last digit okay only the number 0 and 6 will define the number as even and all the other number like 1 7 and 9 in the last digit will govern the number as an odd number these are the things that is given in the question let's approach the question we will start with the first lot in the first lot how many number can fit in it is a three digit number so we can fit the number three one six seven nine the number zero cannot fit in the first lot why because if we put the number zero in the first lot it will be a two digit number and in the question we have to find the three digit number if we put the number zero in this slot it will be a two digit number okay so we cannot put the number zero in the first slot but we can put the number 3, 1, 6, 7, 9 in the first lot. So we are having total 5 choices. The first lot can have total 5 choices. Further, let's move to the second slot. The second slot can have all this number from 0 to 9 that are given in the question. So the second slot can fit in all the number that is 6 number. The second slot is having 6 choices. Okay. Here the repetition of the digits are allowed means the second slot can have the same digit which is used in the first slot. Okay. So the repetition of the digits are allowed. So we can fit in total six choices in the second slot. Further in the third and the last slot we can only put the two digits that is zero and six. Okay. Why? Because we have to find the even number. Only the digit 0 and 6 we can use in the last slot because only these two digits will make the number as an even number. In the first slot we can have the 5 digits. In the second slot we can have the 6 digits. In the last slot we can have the 2 digits. So the number of 3 digit even number we can form will be equal to 5 into 6 into 2. Okay that is 60 ways. That is the answer of the question got the answer the logic which is used in the question is the concept of the even number 
that is even number should be divisible by 2 so only the number 0 and number 6 can come in the last lot and we cannot put the number 0 in the first lot because it will form the two digit number and we have to form the three digit number okay so these two basic logics are used to solve this question let's move to next question the question is it is required to sit four women and five men in a row so that the women occupy the even places how many such arrangements are possible pause the video and try to solve this question on your own let's approach the question in this question four women are given and five men are given so total nine people are given okay four women and five men and we have to arrange these nine people in a row that is nine slots are given and we have to arrange these nine people in these nine slots but the condition is given the condition is that the woman should occupy the even places even places means the woman can occupy the second place fourth place sixth place and the eighth place these are the even slots and other places the men can fit in okay so let's approach this question so firstly see in how many ways the woman can use the even slots the number of women given are four that is n equal to four that is a number of women is equal to 4 and the woman can use the 4th slot okay the woman can use only the even slots that is 2nd, 4th, 6th and 8th n is equal to 4 and r equal to 4 so the number of ways or the permutation will be equal to n factorial that is 4 factorial so in 4 factorial ways we can arrange the 4 women in the even slots Moving further, now we will find the number of ways in which we can arrange the 5 men in the remaining 5 slot. 5 men, 5 slot, that is n is equal to 5 and r equal to 5. So the number of ways or the permutation will be equal to n factorial. Okay, n equal to 5, r equal to 5. So we got our answer that is the number of ways in which we can arrange the men will be equal to 5 factorial. Got it? The number of ways in which we can arrange the woman is 4 factorial and the number of ways in which we can arrange the man is 5 factorial. So our total arrangement will be equal to the number of ways in which we can arrange the woman and the number of ways in which we can arrange the man. Here the logic of and will be applicable and what is and? It is multiplication. So we got our answer as 4 factorial into 5 factorial that is 2880 that is the answer of the question okay so let's move to the next question the question is how many four digit numbers are there with distinct digits take your time and try to solve this question on your own let's approach this question in this question we have to find the four digit numbers okay four digit numbers means we are having four slot and we have to find the four digit numbers that are there with the distinct digit it means that the repetition of the digits are not allowed the four digit number should be formed from the distinct digits means the repetition of the digits are not allowed are you able to catch the given wording in the question the wording is very important if you are able to catch the logic behind this wording you will be easily able to solve this question here the logic is that the repetition of the words are not allowed okay the given input or the given items will be equal to the number from 0 to 9 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 with the help of these number we have to form the four digit number we are having four slot one by one we will fill all the four slots okay let's start with the first slot the first slot can use the number from 1 to 9 we cannot use the number 0 here why because if we use the number 0 in this first slot the number will be a three digit number okay so we cannot use the number 0 or the digit 0 in the first slot so the first slot will be having the choices from the digit 1 to digit 9 that is total 9 choices in the second slot we can have the number from 0 to 9 one number has already been consumed by the first slot so we will be left with only nine choices 
okay we are having 10 choices one number has been consumed by the first slot so we will be left with only nine choices because we have to form the distinct digit that is the repetition of the digits are not allowed got it the third slot will be having the total eight choices because the two choices has already been consumed by the first and the second slot similarly the fourth slot will be having the seven choices so we got our answer as 9 into 9 into 8 into 7 that is 4 5 3 6 that is the answer of this question okay we can also solve this question with the help of the permutation formula that is an alternate approach i will explain you what is the approach we can use the formula of the permutation that is npr will be equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial here n that is a given item will be equal to 10 because the 10 digits are given the digit from 0 to 9 and r will be equal to 4 that is 4 vacant places are given so we can apply the formula of the permutation n factorial upon n minus r factorial so we got our answer using the permutation as 10 factorial upon 6 factorial that is equal to 5040 but the trick is that this 5040 number of phase will be having some numbers which are starting from 0 because we have used the number 0 as an input for the first slot also so we have to subtract all those numbers which are starting from 0 that is all the three digit number got it we have calculated 5040 numbers that we can form from the digit 0 to 9 it will include the number which are starting from 0 that will be the three digit number that we have to subtract from this 5040 let's find all the three digit numbers here the three digit number that is r equal to 3 that is three vacant slots are given and the input will be equal to the total nine numbers the number from 1 to 9 here we are not using the number 0 because the number 0 has already been consumed by the first slot okay so we are left with only nine digits that is the digits from 1 to 9 n equal to 9 r equal to 3 so we can apply the formula of the permutation npr that is n factorial upon n minus r factorial let's put the value we got our answer as 504 okay so out of this 5040 numbers that we have calculated 504 numbers are three digit number so our required number will be equal to 5040 minus 504 that will be equal to 45 36 got it what approach we have used in the alternate approach we have used the formula of the permutation to find the four digit number but the answer will be having the three digit number also so we have calculated the three digit number and we have subtracted the three digit number from the total four digit number so we got our total answer as 4536 okay so this is one of the alternate way it is slightly lengthy but you should know each and every way to solve the question anything can trigger you in the mid of the examination so you should know each and every way and each fundamental to solve the question okay so that's it for this question let's move to the next question the question is a traffic signal has four colors red blue green and yellow signals are made by combining any two of these four colors how many unique signals can the traffic signal show if the order of the color defines unique cases? Take your time, pause the video and try to solve this question. Okay. Let's approach this question. In this question, we are given four traffic signal colors, which are basically red, blue, green and yellow based on these four colors we have to form signals this signal can be made using two colors one on the top and one on the bottom and we have to choose among these four colors to form our unique signals which is made from two colors here in the question it is given the order of the color defines unique cases here order is important and we know where the order is important there the permutation will be applicable so here our permutation will be applicable okay we are having two slots one on the top and one on the bottom and we have to choose from given four color means n equal to four and r equal to two okay four colors are given so our number of given item that is n will be equal to four 
and two vacant slots are there that is r equal to 2 so we will apply our formula of permutation that will be equal to npr n factorial upon n minus r factorial let's put the value on solving we got the answer as 12 arrangement so with the help of this four color we can form total 12 unique arrangements okay we can also solve this question with the help of fundamental principle of the counting that is we are having two slot in the first slot we can put total four colors in the second slot we can put only three color why because one color has already been consumed in the first slot so we got our answer as four into three that is 12 unique arrangement okay these are the 12 unique arrangement that we can form using these four colors so students we have done with this lecture so that's it for this video hope you have liked the video and you have enjoyed the video apart from this video we are also having a full-fledged course on permutation and combination refer the link in the description for the complete list of the course apart from this course on permutation and combination we also have the course on various other mathematics topic using animation and the visual tool refer the link in the description for the complete list of the course on the various topics of the mathematics okay students if you like the video please like share and subscribe to our channel so thank you very much for being with creator classes bye for now